talking dating relationships and with two women who know this area well. Smart Dating Academy's Bella Gandhi and Chicago author and CEO of Six Brown Chicks. She's a blogger for Chicago Now and also Six Brown Chicks, Zandra Hughes. Thank Hello. you for being here, Good you guys. Thank I know you. you guys are great at telling it like it is, which I love about both of you. And when it comes to dating relationships, women need to be told like what it is because you want to sort through this mess and try to find love in the city. Let's talk about the first thing. So, Zandra, you had this interesting blog post. Your boyfriend is not your husband. Right. Women are doing too much. I mean, and men are not uh, responding to it in the way you would think. There are some women who are putting men through school, and these are boyfriends, and the B word is benefits. So when he becomes rich and famous and educated, you don't get anything. So we need to leave him how you found him and let them earn right. those credits. That is, become your husband before we cook dinner and clean his house. And Take care of his kids. All and of that, yeah. Give and you a real commitment. Over. Give exactly. you a real commitment. On paper. Yeah. So you can get benefits. Right, maybe um, with the ring. That'd be good. Do you see that going on, Bella? Because I know you work with women who are dating and in the process of it. Are they giving too much? A lot of women give too much and they have no idea. They think that's just what you have to do. Well, I think they really want, you know, to get really super physically serious really quickly. And so we're going to go there on the third date. I say, you don't have to give that up. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? This is what yeah, these guys are so thinking. Often. Yeah. That's my grandma talking about. <laughs> now, let's, let's talk about GHQ, good husband qualities, how to spot them. This is something else you work with. With women. Yes, we've written an exercise for all the smart dating women that we work with called the marriage map and one of the key things that we teach is how to look for a good husband. So we talk a lot about cute, smart, rich, high IQ. We talk about high GHQ and that's high in good husband qualities. <laughs> I love that. I, love, I think that's a good thing to look for because you miss some of the signs if you're not looking for them and you don't write down your list. That's right. That's right. You know, someone who's very kind to you and kind to the people around him has great relationships with his family family, shows the desire to have a commitment to you to mm -hmm. get married, maybe have kids if that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's consistent, calls when he says he's going to call, takes you out one date a week, turns into three dates a week, turns into five dates a week, turns into an exclusive commitment. You do say that a lot, and I love that point. Mm -hmm. Is he doing what he says and he's do, he promises to do? Does he follow through on that? And I think that is one thing every woman can think about in a relationship. It tells you if it's a good relationship or not. Exactly. Watch what he, just sh look at the show versus just the tell. Mm -hmm. All right, Zandra, we also want to talk about another great blog post uh, that we are all talking about in the newsroom. We love this one. People everyone should block on Facebook. You're Absolutely. very social media savvy. Tell me what you think about well, that. Well, um, first of all, Facebook is where relationships go to die. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, <laughs> keep it off of Facebook. Uh, you should not have your ex-boyfriend on Facebook because you're not prepared to look at his new images with his new woman. You shouldn't have your current on Facebook because, you know, everyone has secrets. Women cheat a lot, too, I, as I've heard. I don't know personally. <laughs> but, yeah, um, and so there are different people that are just all in your business and if you want to enjoy and be social on Facebook some people you just have to just but they block. can still check in on you and you can still check in on your exes and like a lot of people do that right right uh, you but if you block them you can't you gotcha. know that's block just them all together cut, yeah you can unfriend them and still look if you want to lurk that's fine but you, if you're not ready to see his new life without you then don't block block them and you know even I tell my clients when you're starting a relationship make sure that you're managing your entire digital footprint because people are going to Google you mm -hmm. they're going to Facebook you they're going to look at your tweets so when someone that you're starting to date even sends you a friend request don't accept the friend request and be very careful about the things that you're posting the pictures that you're posting because people will find this stuff and they will make judgments about you dating in the first place is a big exercise in first impressions and if your first impressions aren't good and you're posting photos of last night's party where you're laying on a table, <laughs> think about what that guy that you're interested in is going to think when he sees that. Is Serendipity yeah. is dead. They are researching you. They're checking the women you out. Need to Everybody's know that. researching. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's probably a good thing at the end of the day. Do you find that women are as good as men at, at researching? We're better. We're better. We're twice as good <laughs> as researching. We're better. Okay. I like that. All right. Let's talk mm -hmm. about early warning signs in a relationship. This is this is really meaningful stuff because if you're in a bad relationship, why stay in it? And and so many women and men, I suppose, stay in that kind of situation. And there are clues right from the get-go. I tell women all the time: trust your instincts, trust your gut. If your gut says 
says something is wrong, it is wrong. So often we over-intellectualize, we justify bad behavior. So for example, even as something as basic as online dating, if a guy writes to you and says, you know what, I don't really like the dress that you're wearing, I think you look better in this one, or I'm not sure why you said that in your profile, to me that is a red flag. If somebody is criticizing or condemning you from the get-go, mm -hmm. that is the sign of bad things to come. It means controlling behavior? Controlling behavior, and someone who's potentially narcissistic, somebody that has to feel better about himself by demeaning you constantly. Interesting. And along with that, anger. Somebody who's mean to wait staff from the beginning, it sounds trite and mm -hmm. hackneyed, but even if he's really nice to you, but when his dressing doesn't come out on the side and he yells at the waitress, that anger will come out on you. It's just a matter of time. Really? So if you see yes. him snap early on, you're going to say, hey, that, don't, don't overlook that. Don't overlook that. Red Do flag. not overlook that. Red flag. Sandra Hughes and Bal Gandhi, thank you thank so much you. for joining us thank and sharing you. your tips and advice. It's a it's a weird and dangerous world out there in the dating <laughs> world. It's scary sometimes, but you can find love, and we're going to be talking with them in, in the future more about their, uh, their tips. We're going to be right back with more of Good Day Chicago, so stay with us.